Hey everybody and welcome back to The Running Diabetic. So today, in today's video, I thought I would share with you my five essentials that I recommend for running. Um, and it's stuff that I've tried, stuff that I've experimented with. And then just, you know, one or two things that I think are absolutely essential. Remember, I am coming at it from a perspective of being a diabetic. Um, and we all know that running is, it is what it is. It's, it's fun and it's exhilarating and it's hard and it's exciting. And there's, there's a whole number of challenges that, that you can put your body through and get into this whole experience of being a runner. Um, so whether you're doing a 5k race or you're doing a park run on the, on the weekend, or you're doing a marathon or ultra marathon, whatever it is, as long as you're getting out there and getting on the road or getting in the trails, that's awesome. So, yep, you got my full support. Anyways, so these are my five essentials, um, stuff that I do or carry with me to make sure that my runs are successful. And like I said, this is coming from the perspective of a diabetic, which means I've got to spend a lot more time managing my sugar levels, managing my energy levels, managing where and when I run. So running in the mornings versus running in the afternoons. Um, and when am I going to get the most out of my runs and what's going to help me to get there? So first tip or first essential item in my running journey is nutrition. Obviously, nutrition is vital for what I need, making sure that my body has the right fuel, that if I'm on a long run, I can stay on a long run and still be safe and still be able to complete my long run. And I've done multiple experiments uh, with my nutrition. And there's a couple of things that I've really found that works for me. So the first thing is these little hydrator packs from USN. So these are zero sugar, hydration packs that I put into my water um, kind of the day before a long run or a race I'll hydrate with one or two of these in in my water bottle and then on the run which I'll get to as well is in my water pack that I run with um, and the reason why I do that and it's not, you don't see a lot of runners running with water packs um, I do it specifically because it helps me carry all my nutrition and I've always got a source of water on me, so I can always stay hydrated on the on the runs. But these are great because they've got they full of electrolytes, so it kind of keeps the glycogen score, uh, sto uh, stores up, and it keeps me going. So it keeps the fatigue out of the muscles. The other things that I use are these Biogen energy gels. Now I've experimented with a few of them. These ones are my favourite. The coffee bean, yeah, the real coffee bean. These guys are phenomenal. So this has got 26 grams of carbs in it. Um, and what it does as well is that there's no sucrose in it. So there's no added sucrose in it. And it's 50 grams of, of caffeine in the gel. And how I use these is I will usually take one of these packs every 40 minutes on a long run. And this helps to put the carb stores back into my body. And it helps the insulin levels to remain stable through the run. So I'm not blasting myself with high glucose sweets, which will cause huge spikes and huge lows. This kind of keeps me going pretty consistently across the run. So yeah, every 40 to 45 minutes, I'll take one of these guys. And then the last thing, and these things are flipping incredible. It's probably the most delicious thing I've ever had on a run. And it's these far bars by Race Food. They, if you've ever been on a long run, and when I say long run, more than two hours, you start fantasizing about food like you've never fantasized in your life. Like I will fantasize about buttered toast, like I'll be drooling by the time I get home. Pop one of these guys in and it gets me through. The first time I had this, I almost burst into tears. It was so delicious. So these are the apple pen cinnamon. I've got dates and cranberry. I've, I've tried a number of them. Also, great source of carb, great source of protein. So I'll usually mix and match between my gels and my far bars. 
between on the on the run so i'll usually take a gel 40 minutes in and then i'll have a far one of these far bars maybe an hour into the run and then alternate as i go so i'm constantly getting carbs in and i'm making sure that my body's fueled cool essential number two essential number two is this guy this is my camel pack or camelback um, and this is just from Mr. Price Sports, but this holds two liters of water in it. And the beautiful thing about this guy is that I never go out on a long run without my water pack in it, which, as I said before, contains my hydrators and it helps me carry all of my nutrition as well. So what I do is I train my body to only have water every three to four Ks into the run. So I'll have my first kind of sip of water about three or four Ks in and then seven Ks, you know, 12 Ks, depending on how I'm feeling. But it, it always allows me to have some hydration with me, which is vital on the run. So yeah, it's, it's extremely important. And honestly, you get kind of used to running with the, the thing on your back. Um, a lot of elite runners don't do it. Um, and I understand that. But for me as a diabetic runner, I need to make sure that I've always got stuff on me so that I'm safe. And that's a perfect way to do it. So that's awesome. Number three. Number three is a good sports watch. So the watch that I use is the Galaxy Watch 4. Um, and it is a really high quality piece of tech. Helps me track my heart rate. Helps me track my... Uh, distances I can measure against if I'm doing a pace run or a training run or a long run what am I actually running against um, and it helps my body get used to the feel of the right pace for me on, on different distances so for example if I'm running a 5k race I can run a 5 minute 10k kilometer no problem but if I'm running a long run, I want to slow that down all the way to 7 minute 30. And this helps me keep on track and accountable to keeping that pace going well. So that I've still got, you know, the, the energy in my legs, my glycogen stores have not been completely used and abused. And I can get through the run and really work out well. And also... It helps me track historically where I've been and where I'm going to, because I think that's important. You know, especially as a runner, I want to be improving and I'm not going to improve every run. Some runs, as you know, are going to be terrible. Some runs are going to be phenomenal. And it helps me to go back and almost do like an after action report to go what worked, what didn't work and what can I do better in my next run? Make sense? So go and get yourself a good quality sports watch. I mean, there's multiple varieties on the market. Samsung Galaxy have got theirs. Apple have just released their Apple Ultra watch. Garmin have got a range of watches. So at whatever works for you and whatever price point you're looking at spending, there's multiple options, which is great. So then number four, which kind of sounds a bit obvious, but a really good pair of running shoes. I think people mistake, or the, the biggest mistake a lot of people make is not investing money in a good quality pair of shoes. And I say people, but I mean Dirk, because I didn't do that when I first started running. And as you know, the toenails suffer the most. So what I did is I picked up a pair of Hoke One One, shoes and these are the Arahi 6 which is a stability trainer because I do have a bit of a thing with my ITB but I am so glad I spent the money on a good decent quality pair of shoes. Spend the money now so that you don't spend time off the road because of injury or overuse. You want to stay healthy, you want to stay running for as long as you can and the best way to do that is to invest in foot care. And that is with a great quality pair of shoes. Um, if you're just the weekend warrior and you're looking to go out and do park runs, you know, kind of every weekend, 
you should be looking to spend like 800 to 1,000 Rand on a pair of shoes. I mean, that's realistically what you should be doing. When you're starting to go up in mileage and you're doing 10Ks, 21Ks or full marathon, you need to be, spend, you, you need to be spending a, a bit more money. Um, and I recommend it because trust me, it helps. And finally, number five. You need you. You need a good mental mindset. That is an essential for running. You've got to be realistic with yourself. Some runs, like I said, aren't going to be good. Some runs are going to be good. But the common denominator between both of those good runs and bad runs is that you got out there and you did it. You've got to be kind to yourself. You've got to know that there's going to be good days and bad days. But a good mental attitude is going to help you with your running more than anything else. Because running is more mental than it is physical. There's a physical element, as we all know. But getting through that stage of going, I've only got two more kilometers to go. I've only got 10 more kilometers to go. It's your mental attitude that's going to get you through it. And a little trick that I like to use when my body's tired or my legs are feeling heavy is if I'm at the end of a race and I know that I've been keeping my pace well, instead of saying to myself, I've only got one more kilometer to go, I say to myself, I'm only going to run for six minutes. I've only got six more minutes left to do. And I can do a lot of things in six minutes. It changes my mindset rather than going from this long distance of one kilometer to it's only six minutes. You could do six minutes. And it's that mental attitude that helps me finish a lot of the races that I've done. Um, and I think that's what is the most important thing because when you get out, when I get out on a run, Work could be going terribly. I could be not be I could not be focused at home. There could be a multitude of things that are filling my mental space that distract me from my run. But when I'm out there on my run, it's just me in the road, and I can get to those internal dialogues that I need to get through that I miss during the day. And instead of being my own worst enemy. I've got to become my biggest cheerleader when I'm on a run. Whether it's a 5K or a half marathon, I am the one that's cheerleading myself to get myself over the line. So a great attitude is my top tip for number five. Because if you're not going to have a great attitude, you're going to have a bad run. But anyways, so that is my five essential pieces or tips or whatever you like to call it. Five things that I need to take with me or have with me on a run to make sure that I enjoy myself out there and I'm safe and looked after and everything is going smoothly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this channel. Um, if you do, give this video a like. Um, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be back next week with another um, episode. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we'll see when we get there. Cheers.